Hey everyone, this is Dr. Mungli. So today I'm going to explain you answer to one of my question on alcoholic, uh, chronic alcoholism. A 45 year old man was being treated in emergency room for metabolic acidosis. This patient is a chronic known alcohol abuser and he lives on alcohol since he is 35 years old. His liver enzymes are grossly elevated and his blood albumin level is significantly lower than normal. Which all the following metabolic and clinical changes do you expect to see in this patient? So if you look at the uh, short case stem here, so it is clear that this person is a chronic alcoholic because he is taking alcohol since 10 years and his liver enzymes are grossly elevated and his blood albumin level is also significantly lower than normal and now he is in metabolic acidosis. Now the question is which of the following metabolic and clinical changes do you expect to see in this patient? Basically we need to identify what all the metabolic changes or what all the clinical signs that you are going to see in chronic alcoholics and what all the things that are given here in the choices and which makes correct answer. And also note that this question in this particular question I have purposely included more than one correct answer. Out of choice A to H there are more than one correct answer. Okay. So keeping that in mind let's go with the choice A. And also before I explain a choice A, let me briefly explain you what happens to alcohol in our body, alcohol, metabolism of alcohol. So alcohol is metabolized in our body into acetaldehyde. Alcohol is converted to acetaldehyde. This job is done by alcohol dehydrogenase enzyme. And this alcohol dehydrogenase is going to produce NADH plus H plus. Now alcohol dehydrogenase converts alcohol into acetaldehyde. Now the acetaldehyde furthermore is converted to acetate by aldehyde dehydrogenase which is also referred as acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. Now the aldehyde dehydrogenase or acetaldehyde dehydrogenase while converting acetaldehyde into acetate is going to produce one more NADH plus H plus. It means for every molecule of alcohol converted to an acetate molecule, you are going to get two molecules of NADH plus H plus. It means when the metabolism of alcohol is going on in our body, in our cells, there will be plenty of NADH plus H plus elevated. This is the most important thing that you need to remember. It means ratio, ratio of NADH over NAD plus will be increased. There will be plenty of NADH compared to NAD plus. Keeping that in mind, let's go to choice A. Choice A says increased activity of his liver glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Now you need to know what is the function of glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase. Glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase, it catalyzes reversible reaction where dihydroxyacetone phosphate is converted to glycerol 3-phosphate. Okay, in the conversion of dihydroxyacetone phosphate into glycerol 3-phosphate, NADH plus H plus is used and NAD plus is released. Okay. Since it's a reversible reaction, so depending on the availability of NADH and availability of NAD+, it can run in either way. Now note that in alcoholics, there is plenty of NADH available because of this glycerol 3-phosphate dehydrogenase is going to convert dihydroxyacetone phosphate into glycerol 3-phosphate and that glycerol 3-phosphate is used as a backbone for attaching fatty acids in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum to make triacylglycerol. So it means there will be esterification of glycerol 3-phosphate with 3 fatty acids to make triacylglycerol. That happens in the smooth ER of hepatocyte. Because of this, triacylglycerol levels increases 
and they will be accumulated in the hepatocytes later on so that's what happens in the alcoholics that is what that is one of the reason why alcoholics will get fatty liver and that is because there is increased conversion of dihydroxystone phosphate to glycerol 3 phosphate and increased formation of triacyl glycerol so it means choice a option a seems to be correct answer option a is correct here increased activity of liver glycerol 3 phosphate dehydrogenase now option b option b says increased activity of is hepatocyte fructose 16 bisphosphatase note that fructose 16 bisphosphatase this is a gluconeogenic enzyme since there is increased nadh plus h plus in alcoholics so overall in general gluconeogenesis is inhibited in alcoholic patients or alcoholic people that is why activity of fructose 16 bisphosphatase in the hepatocyte it will be decreased so so it means option b is incorrect now option c option c says increased oxidation of fatty acids in hepatocyte mitochondria increased oxidation of fatty acids in hepatocyte mitochondria beta oxidation of fatty acids again they need nad plus now there will be shortage of nad plus here and plenty of nadh plus h plus that's why beta oxidation slows down here so it means option c is incorrect it is not increased now option d option d says there is increased expression of cytochrome p 452 e1 gene note that cytochrome p 452 e1 enzyme is the one which is which will take care of detoxification of alcohol in the hepatocyte so some percentage of alcohol i think it's around 10% of the alcohol is detoxified in the hepatocyte by cytochrome p452 e1 so uh, since this patient is a chronic alcoholic so there will be induction of cytochrome p452 e1 gene so since it is written decreased expression here so that's incorrect now pain in his first metatarsophalangeal joint and other joints so pain in the first metatarsophalangeal joint is an indication of accumulation of uric acid leading to gout so why in chronic alcoholics there is increased accumulation of uric acid and that is because increased nadh plus h plus so increased nadh plus h plus it leads to conversion of pyruvate into lactate rather than lactate converting into pyruvate here pyruvate is converted to lactate by lactate dehydrogenase enzyme it means lactate levels increases increased lactate what it does it's going to compete with the uric acid for the same secretory mechanism in renal tubular cells because of this what happens lactate is getting out into the urine and uric acid is retained back because of this the uric acid retention increased uric acid in the blood occurs and also note that a uh, type of alcohol can also lead to increased uric acid level so wine beer uh, a beer all these things they will increase purine levels and purine degradation leading to uric acid that's another cause for increased uric acid so increased uric acid is because of the competition of lactate with uric acid for the same excretory mechanism and also partly it is because of the type of alcohol where more uric acid production is there so that's why option e here is makes sense it is a correct answer now option f increased level of drug detoxification by cytochrome p450 note that when the alcohol is taken so cytochrome p450 enzymes are induced it means these are the cytochrome p450s which are involved in drug detoxification so it means in alcoholics drug drug detoxification will be going on at a higher rate so that means option f is is correct and this is the reason why if the person is taking is a chronic alcoholic then we need to increase the doses of the medication because they will be having high levels of cytochrome p450s so if you are prescribing a uh, same doses that you are prescribing for a non alcoholic so alcoholics will have lower than the therapeutic window levels of the drug or the medication that's why you need to increase you need to prescribe more than the normal doses for alcoholics because they will be having plenty of these detoxification enzymes so option f is correct now option g 
ऑप्शन जी से इस हाइपोग्लाइसिमिक एपिसोड्स ड्यू टू डिक्रीज कन्वर्शन ऑफ पायरवेट टू ग्लूकोस सो एज आई ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू बिफोर ग्लूकोनियोजेनेसिस इज ओवरऑल डिक्रीज इन अल्कोहलिक्स दैट्स बिकॉज ऑफ इंक्रीज एन ए डी एच प्लस एच प्लस ओवर एन ए डी प्लस बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पायरवेट इज इंस्टेड ऑफ गोइंग टू ग्लूकोज फॉर्मेशन इट विल बी गोइंग टूवर्ड्स लैक्टेड फॉर्मेशन दिस कैन पुट ए पर्सन एट रिस्क ऑफ हाइपोग्लेसीमिया सो ऑप्शन जी सी इट इज ऑल्सो ए करेक्ट चॉइस नाउ ऑप्शन हैच ऑप्शन हैच से स्टेंडरनेस ओवर अपर राइट अपर क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ द एबडमन एंड फैटी लिवर सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज इंडिकेटिव ऑफ फैटी लिवर एंड ऑल्सो देर कैन बी increase in the gall bladder size or it can be tender liver because of the hepatitis acute hepatitis so that can be a cause for right upper quadrant abdominal pain and the fat liver and that seems to be correct choice too so overall in alcoholics so there will be increased esterification of glycerol 3 phosphate to make triacyl glycerol and that leads to accumulation of fat in the liver initially it will be loaded down to apoB 40 now 100 to make VLDL later it will accumulate i mean triacyl glycerol will accumulate in the hepatocytes leading to fatty liver there is decreased gluconeogenesis in the chronic alcoholics there is decreased beta oxidation process there is increased expression of cytochrome p450s so there is increased accumulation of uric acid in chronic alcoholics so and also there is relatively there is a formation of ketone bodies in alcoholics and that's because tca cycle will be down here in alcoholics it means acetyl coa will be diverted into ketone body formation okay this is in brief about the metabolic effects of chronic alcoholics it's a huge topic it's a big topic to explain so i need more time for to explain that but what i am doing today is to explain answer to my question so i am just explaining things within the choices that i have made here okay so option a option e f g and h all these are the correct answers for this question hope this helped you to answer some of the questions that you may had that's all for now i'll come up with some other question some other time till then take care